Hello Frankenstein, Stonic and 15 here and today I'm going to teach you how to use Audacity with Game Maker so what you want to do is go to preferences then make sure you go to ex the editors tab and select ex M4 external sound editor for wave and mp3 files make sure to click browse and locate to your where you installed Audacity so I already have it set so I'm just going to teach you a tutorial to do this. So I'm going to pull up the test file. I'm going to pull up this random sound. So just have a listen real quick. Okay, so that's the sound. And the way you want to edit it is... Hold on, let me recess this a bit. Alright, so you're going to go to edit sound after... Put in Audacity as your external editor and it will open Audacity and then what you want to do is just edit your sound. So say if I want to make it loud and stuff I could just do this and by the way you, you will have to open in and when you export the audio you'll have to relocate the audio file to go to the temp folders for for game maker so what you want to do so make whatever stuff you want on it so I'm just gonna add this effect so it just sound like this sorry to my I get lower it a bit <laughs> So say I wanted to have the sound like that, I edit the sound, then I hate this region stuff, right? But when you export your audio, make sure you go to, I, use, I have this tool all the time, Projects Explorer, and I use it all the time, every, every day I use the computer, and I could help, and this helps me look at parameters for stuff and when I hover over this audacity process I can see what arguments I made so when you use this program I mean it could probably be pretty done with test manager you just look at the parameters of when you opened audacity look at the yeah whatever it is um, I'm just gonna do this so quick so you see where it says command line or you can probably use another tool but make sure to go to this folder make sure to go to that folder when you're finding your audio file just or just look in any of the game maker temp files and then you'll find it so here's the audio file and then I export and save now if I close Audacity, it will bring me back to Game Maker, and I'll have my edited sound. <laughs> Alright, so that's it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And as always, make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. Hopefully this helped you make your games with Audacity and Game Maker, and I'll see you in the next video. Uh, bye! <laughs> Alright, that was random.